Lisbeth. Hi, Ross. Hello, Anna Maria. Hey, Ross. Hello, Martin. Hello, Ross. Okay, so that's where the full herd is getting its feed. Yeah, they've all walked now to the hektar, we say in Swedish, hay hedges. So oh, this is uh, where it's easy to come with the tractor from the road and drive up and put the ensilage bales every... Uh, how often, how often do you need to fill up? Yes, You fill them up when they're empty. Depends okay. on the... <laughs> That's good. It depends a lot on the how much the cows eat, depends on the weather, I think. Every third oh, day. Every day or, day or, day or so. Yeah. yeah. But they are outdoors most of the time now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they're still outside. Yeah. Um, the eventually best they'll move in. Yeah. That I can do it myself. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, because Anna Maria can do that by herself. Yes. Uh -huh. Just in what, with one person. Yeah. Just go and fill up on the uh -huh. hay, so you uh -huh. don't need to be two people, and it's easy. But then in November, December, when it's super cold, don't they move into the barn yeah. there? Uh -huh. And. Little alone. When proper winter comes and yeah. it's uh, snow on the ground the yeah. whole time and it's completely frozen, yeah. then they will do also. What? They go out also. Oh, they are always in the whole time. Okay. Yeah, so they have outdoor access also in winter. Oh, okay. So yeah. they're never staying completely inside. They always go out and spend yeah. some time outside every day. Cool. Thanks so much, Anna Maria. Thank you.